Hey there guys, Penguins Recordings here. And today I'm going to be showcasing how to install Scribble Nuts Unlimited on Ubuntu. Uh, this will be on Ubuntu 13.04, but it will be usable as well on 12.04, 12.10, and hopefully 13.10 as well, as long as Play on Linux supports that version of Ubuntu. So the first thing you're going to need is Play on Linux. The version here I have is 4.2.1. You should have version 4.1.8 at the very least. Alright, so continuing on with that. The second thing you're going to need is the Steam install.msi, right? This is the Windows version of Steam. Since Scribblenauts is only Windows, ver only Windows uh, it's only a Windows game, so we need the Windows version of Steam to be able to run it. So here we go. I'm going to click install. Then I'm going to go to the bottom left and I'm going to click install a non-listed program. Alright, give it a couple seconds to start up. I'm going to hit next. Install a program in a new virtual drive. I'm going to do this for this game. So I'm going to click next. Now you can name the virtual drive anything you want. I'm going to name it Scribble Not How To. It doesn't really matter what you name it as long as it's unique. Click next. Now I'm going to click use another version of Wine and configure Wine. Now you won't need to do configure Wine, it's optional, but I like to put Wine into a windowed mode first when I'm testing. Alright, so I'm going to hit next. Here we have the versions of Wine that are installed on your computer. I have a lot as you can see, some even are compiled by myself. The version I'm going to be using in this video is 1.6 RC4. Now in the future, if you're watching this video and 1.6 is already the final release, please use that version instead. This is still one that is being developed. Now if you don't have this version in the list here, what you can do is go to Tools and then Manage Wine Versions, okay? Let it load up. Alright, now the Wine versions on the left are the ones that you can install and the Wine versions on the right are the ones that you already have installed on your computer. So you want 1.6 RC4, right? So say it's on the left, select it, and then click this, uh, what, what would you call this, an arrow button here in the middle. And then it will pop up and install itself. Once it's done, you should see it on the right, and then you can continue. All right? Oops, I double clicked that, hoping it start up. Okay, so I'm gonna go with 1.6 RC4. I'm gonna click Next. Give it a couple of seconds. Now since I clicked configure wine as well, since I ticked that before, it should appear as well a small configuration window. This part can take a while. Okay. So depending on whether you con ticked configure wine or not, you may see this and you may not. I ticked configure wine so I do see it. I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to tick emulate a virtual desktop. Now I'm going to set the screen size to 1600 by 900 which is just nice for me. You can set it to anything you want. It can be 800 by 600, uh, 1024 by 768, entirely up to you. Just make sure it's a real world resolution. So I click apply and I click OK. So now we're going to browse to the Steam install.msi file which is on the desktop here for me. If you've downloaded it it go to where you downloaded the steam install file so I'm gonna click steam install.msi I'm gonna click open alright so now I'm gonna click next so this first part is just installing steam into wine click next I accept and agree cable fiber 10 megabytes uh, English okay install basically you just can click next 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 for that one you don't really need to care click finish now the part comes where Steam is going to update itself. This can take quite a while. So instead of waiting for this to finish updating itself, I am going to skip ahead into the video. And then we'll continue from there on. Alright, so for most of you, you'll see that this is updating and then after that you can leave it. So I'm going to leave it updating, skipping ahead to the video now. Alright, so we're nearing the end of the update. As you can see here, it's almost done. 
a little bit more okay so the update is done it should appear a login window without text which is normal so this can take a while for everyone's computer is probably going to be different alright so the login window has appeared the first thing you'll notice is hey there's no text there that's okay that's to be expected this is a problem with a dwrite file in in wine so we're gonna close this first which will close the whole thing itself basically what we've just done is finished installing steam so in the shortcuts menu I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna click steam.exe I'm gonna click next now you can name this anything you want, but I'm just going to name it Scribble Knots. Oops, bad spelling there. Scribble Knots How To. I'm going to delete this later on because I already have it installed. So I'm going to click Next. Okay, so that's it. The rest of the exes don't really matter. So I'm just going to click Cancel. Alright, so we have the first part of the installation done, which is Steam. Now we want to install Scribble Knots inside Steam. So we're going to click the Scribble Knots How To here. Before we click Run, I'm going to click Configure. Remember there was no text just now, so to fix that we go into the Arguments tab. You'll only see the Arguments tab with Play on Linux version 4.1.8 and above. Alright, so click Dash, No, Dash, D, Right. Okay, so this is what you should have in here. Dash, No, Dash, D, Right okay so we're going to close that now we're going to run scribble knots how to all right now we have text great so i'm going to log into my account i'm going to hide this information on the screen i'm going to censor it because of course it's my private information just logging in now since this is a new install when you click login steam guard is going to come up now it's going to ask you for the the what do they call this a access code so I'm going to click next this will be received in your email okay so check your emails for the steam access code I'm going to skip the part of the video showing my how I do it you should already know how to do this alright so I have my steam access code is here I'm going to click next let it do its working out. This is just to prove that you are who you say you are. You are the legitimate owner of the account. Success. Okay, I'm going to click finish. Now it's connecting to my Steam account. And we should have Steam. All right, Steam is up and running. I am going to go to library. It'll usually lag for the first couple of seconds when you just start it up. So in library, I don't have anything installed. So let us head straight to Scribblenauts. S S S is there. It is Scribblenauts Unlimited. Now, for pretty much everyone who watches this video, you're going to click install, and then you're going to click next and let it download itself. Now, I've already made a backup file, so I'm going to head to Steam, backup and restore games. I'm going to click restore a previous backup. Click next. I'm going to click Browse. Most of you won't have to do this. You just click Install and let it download. But I don't want to use the bandwidth. I've already downloaded it previously. Click Z. Click on Home, which is down here. Ismail. Ismail. And go down to Desktop. Where is Desktop? Because that's where I have it. See Downloads. There it is. Desktop. Scribble Nuts Unlimited. All right. So I'm going to click Next 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 okay so it's installing it from my backup file now I've already tested this in Play Linux and to my surprise you do not need any additional files to get this game running you simply need to have wine and steam and you're good to go so after it's done installing stuff I pretty much just click play and I'll be able to play the game straight off the bat there is no need for DirectX there is no need for 
uh, any .NET or anything like that. No special tweaks so far from what I found. Just make sure that if you're having problems running the game that you at least have your graphics drivers installed. People usually comment saying they have problems and it usually is from the fact that they do not have their drivers installed or they are using the open source drivers. So I'm going to click finish. It's uploading itself to the cloud. Actually no, it's downloading the cloud save file. Once it's finished downloading my save file, I'll click play. Alright, so before I click play, let me record the sound as well. We've pretty much finished installing the game and finished installing Steam and Wine. So all you have to do is click play. Let it do this. Once it's done this, it should pretty much set up straight after that. And there you have it, it's working. You'll see the Warner Brothers logo at first, then the five cell, was it, fifth cell, or something like that? Yeah, fifth cell. My goodness, there's a whole lot of motorcycles driving by the neighborhood. It's so annoying today. Alright, so under options, I've set it to 1600 by 900, 8 times anti aliasing. This is from the save file. Okay, go back. If I were to click continue, I'll start off where I was playing at last time, which was in this area. In the museum, playing this. As you can see, it works. It's that simple. You just need to use the latest wine, which in this video I used 1.6 RC4. If you're watching this in the future, it's most likely that wine 1.6 has already been released. There's no more RCs. Please use the latest version of wine that you have available to you. It's always best to do that. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this video helped you get installed. And thanks for watching.